What's up guys and gals, welcome to my channel, Killer Wolf here, and today I'm back with another episode of my Wolf's World. I keep getting confused with the name of this series off camera, because considering the fact that a minute ago I said this was Wolfie World, but no, I'm, this is not Wolfie World whatsoever. But you've caught me in the act of punching down a tree with a, a, um, an acacia slap, slap thing, okay. Um, sapling, now a log, but um, <clears throat> pretty much, I'm just gonna say this one thing. My world just, my world got corrupted last week. I was not happy. Um, and pretty much, I was supposed to start from scratch. I had this world, and then uh, I kind of ruined that by just going range rage mode and going in creative mode and just trying to build a mob spawner and everything, because. I accidentally made it so that their dungeons were really rare and I couldn't even find a nether thingy and I think I've made them more rare. I can't see any in this abandoned mine shaft but you see I've got a few crafting tables flying around here. I think I'm becoming Iskal85 because he has a lot of crafting tables and I seem to have like three here. I think there might actually be more than three. I'm not sure where though, but I have them. Oh, well, I was going to go down here, but I wasn't expecting. Okay, thank you. I wasn't expecting me to fall down. Hmm. But I need to make some basic tools again, cause yeah, isn't that beautiful? I was planning on building a castle this episode, um, in my other world, but that since that's gone now, I can't do that. It's annoying. I know. You don't want to watch me do everything again, and I would say that I could just have skipped all of this, but I didn't have any time, because literally like at the last minute I had to do this, and it wasn't exactly good. Um, so yeah, mainly because I've been really busy trying to make myself a mod, because I want to start a modding, a modding, uh, not a modding series, a modded Minecraft series and I really want to create my own mod for it and considering the fact there aren't exactly that many tutorials out there for 1.8 um, I'm going along and or 1.9 to be a matter of fact even though Mr. Crayfish I think is doing it um, he's not got really that many episodes out especially with his 1.8 one considering he's only got like two of those out and I'm just there like dude really also, like the fact that his 1.7.10 modding series, that he said he was supposed to teach us how to make okay make stuff similar to his furniture mod, and um the fact he's got storage and stuff in those that thing, I was expecting him to do something with storage and stuff. He didn't, so I had to try and go over to Tech Geek something and follow his tutorials, but then the only problem is is with his tutorials, they're only in 1.7.2, the chest thing, so the chest doesn't fully work like with the fact it doesn't render the texture for one that I made, so I had an obsidian chest and it didn't render it properly, plus it rendered it as two single chests placed next to each other and then they'd open up at the same time and play like the chest sound twice at at the same time in its synchronized format and I'd just be there like ah my ears uh, it's kind of annoying and he doesn't do any videos anymore because he stopped making videos four months ago and this is literally like I think he stopped making the Minecraft tutorials a bit ago but he also stopped doing every other video on his channel completely as well Probably because, like me, he didn't have a lot of subscribers, but the fact is he still had more than me, and he should have just kept going. Because to be honest, like, I keep going and I have like, I only have like, I have like 16, a maximum of 16 views on any of my videos anymore that aren't related to FNAF tutorials. Like, generally, FNAF tutorials have pretty much ruined my channel at this point because everyone's going there and watching it and they're not stopping bragging me to go back to it, even though that pretty much drained all the essence out of my life and made me just want to flip every table in existence and all that sort of stuff. And it's kind of annoying because I found that series so terrible and it was like, 
something I really hated doing. It got, well, it wasn't something I hated doing at first, but then it got to something I hated doing, because, like, Bully Kick, Click Team Fusion is so simple, and I'm just there, just trying to do stuff that would normally work in other programs and everything, and there's Click Team Fusion, like, what are you doing? I don't understand this confusing code. And I pretty much cried and just gave up, because it's just, nah. Just, nothing should be that dumb. Nothing should be. However, how the bloody hell Scott did manage to cope with that program, I do not know. But I'm no longer going back to that series because that was just life draining. It pretty much would have put me in depression if I carried on with that bloody series. Wouldn't have been good, would it? Because I would have been there just forking out videos that are like not even like they're just like. Not, I don't even bother with them, and I'm just like half-hearted about them. And like recently, like I was supposed to upload a Spooky's uh, Spooky House of Jump Scares episode of Spooky Sundays yesterday, and I was supposed to upload no, not yesterday, because it's Mon it, it, it was yesterday for me, and if that's the case, it's Sunday uh, that it happened, because obviously Sunday is it, I was supposed to edit Saturday. And upload it Sunday, but I just I couldn't be bothered. I was too tired, and it's mainly because I've been taking hay fever tablets in the morning. And my mom has told me that it's not a good idea because it'll make you tired. And yes, I said my mom because I am I only just turned 16. I'm hoping to get a computer soon though, which is good. Um, but. I really, I can't wait till I get a computer because I'm planning on doing so many things. I want to get into live streaming and all that sort of stuff, and I think it'd be really cool because my computer cannot handle that sort of stuff at the moment. OBS, it like is usually a really fast program for most computers and everything like that, and it's completely free. And with me, what it was doing instead was being slow, and I was pretty much there just wanting to stab it. So I. And then I found the program I use at the moment, which isn't as bad, but it still is quite laggy because I'm running multiple programs at the same time, so what do you expect? Um, what am I looking for? Oh, yeah. Alright, let's make another furnace, uh, not furnace, crafting table to add to our collection of crafting tables. There's just crafting tables littered everywhere. Right, now we've got a new furnace. <clears throat> Let's see how many. I want you guys to keep count of how many crafting tables I make this episode. And there's one over there. There's a skeleton up there. Right up there. Can I zoom in on him? Why? How do I zoom? Is it Z? I start. Oh no, control makes you run. Would it be this control? No. Hmm. Hmm. Optifine, how do you work? Hmm. Wait, where is it? Where are you? Um, this is what you call being professional. See, that's what it is. Right over there. If you can see it. I don't know how good my quality videos are. That wasn't English, but okay. It was partial English at least. Uh, cook some coal. Uh, not cook some coal, cook some ion. Iron, yes, but anyway, I think we should get back to the mod. <clears throat> yeah, I think it'd be a really cool idea if I make this mod and do a modded series with it, because then you guys could get into my mind and see what I like doing. But also, I think it'd be a good idea if you guys could help out as well. Now, if you actually comment on this video, which I pretty much doubt any of you are, apart from the one guy who's going to comment nice video, which I'm glad about them commenting. So it'd be good if there was more input into with other people and everything. But I really want people to give me some ideas for blocks, ores, things that I could possibly add in my mod. In my mod, yeah. I need to mod pack. That wasn't what I wanted to say. But you could possibly say loads of different things. I've made another crafting table, and there was one right next to me. I've, I've just become worse than Iskar with his bloody crafting ventures. Okay. Well, that's happened. But, um, bit pretty much, like, 
I really wanted to make a mod pack after I watched Iskal 85's Survival Stories 3 series, and I failed at life once again. Um, but pretty much, I was just there and I looked at his mod pack and I was there just like, Aah. and I wanted to create a mod that was based on adventure and technology. And that is fully what this text, uh, not text pack, mod, mod that I want to do is going to be based on. And I want you guys to give me ideas for like biomes, technology things, um, weapons, tools, armors, storage container things, and I'm not on about like tanks and stuff because I don't know how to do that at the moment, but simple things and maybe even multi-block structure kind of things. I might try and figure out how to do that at some point because I really want to make a multi-block structure storage system which is like made with uh, metal that I've made for my pack called Gadgetanium which is inspired by one of my favorite, it, which is to do with one of my favorite um, my fa one of my favorite films and also other things because it's more than just a film which is Inspector Gadget. Yes. If you know who Inspector Gadget is, he is it's an awesome thing. I love it. It's so funny. It's just like I remember part the part where um, I'm not gonna spoil anything. It's, it's like loads of funny parts. And if you want to see something funny like that, go watch it. It's a great film. I think there's a second one out about it as well, but it's bloody funny. Ah, uh, free advertising for a film that's old now, but who cares? <clears throat> but yeah, that's pretty much um, what Gadgetanium is. So you can become Spe Inspector Gadget pretty much. I want to jump boost on it. Um, many things like that. So you can like jump really high. You can attack things and all that sort of stuff. And I really wanted to... Oh, for God's sake, I made another pickaxe. I really wanted to do something where I could have like, um, oh god, I could have, um, what was it? You, you know how like, if you've actually seen Inspector Bagad In Bagadget, yeah, that's what he's called. It's Inspector Bagadget right there, it's a new amazing character. Everyone's gonna love him, he's like the best thing ever made. <sighs> Definitely not a terrible me failing in English, it's just me creating a new character. Now, um, Inspector... Gadget, not the gadget, gadget. Um, <clears throat> he has this thing where he can like extend his arms, legs, all that sort of stuff. He also has the gadget mobile as well. And I kind of wanted to create the uh, um, a recreation of the Inspector Gadget, uh, like an armor that recreates all the abilities and stuff that Inspector Gadget has, which is quite a lot considering. Literally, he has to say, go, go, gadget, anything, and it will pretty much happen. So, like, I think he said, go, go, gadget, toothpaste once, and he's given got given toothpaste, and, like, go, go, gadget, oil slip. And, like, when you watch the film and see all the springs and everything they just pretend to put into him, you're just there, like, where the, the, the what? And then they put, like, actual toothpaste and all that sort of stuff in him, and you're just there, like, okay. I think you went a bit overboard when you wanted a super human, but okay. <laughs> But that's pretty much what ended up happening. Like, I would just, uh, it's so strange, but it's funny. It's a really good film, and I think you guys should watch it. <clears throat> if you want to get an idea of what I wanted in the mod pack, uh, in the, for the gadgetanium stuff. Because <laughs> the gadgetanium stuff, there was going to be gadgetanium armor and everything. And I'd be kind of normal armor, but really overpowered, because. Gadgetanium is supposed to be a really strong metal for me. It's not even in the Inspector Gadget universe. They use like actual proper things. But I made like Gadgetanium stuff because I think it sounds really cool. And I just was there like, oh, that would be like a really cool idea to do. Gadgetanium. Oh. But um, yeah. And pretty much you can do like Gadgetanium chipsets and everything, and then you'd be able to after a while of doing a load of crafting and everything you'd move on from gadgetanium armor to gadgetanium armor with added abilities and looks like a cool suit so yeah that's pretty much what happens that is the uh, that's what went through my mind when I was like oh yeah let's make an adventure mod pack uh, mod 
just include a massive, like, a rare ore that will take ages to find unless you go to the end. And then, or the nether actually as well. But it's more common in the end. And pretty much what then you'll have to, have to do is like, you'll have, just like, I'm just there, just like, yeah, this is gonna... I mean, you could go out and adventure a lot. I mean, you're immune to Skellington's arrows, I'm just gonna say that, because... Pretty much, I put um, I put the armor on, went into survival mode on my test world, and what ended up happening was um, the armor durability went down like by nothing. It hardly looked like it moved when it actually did, because it like there was so much durability on it. <clears throat> and the um, oh god, and um, I'm gonna die now, aren't I? And um, what was it? The um, the um, I'm trying to remember what it's called now. Oh yeah, my health pretty much didn't go down at all. It stayed at a complete like 100%. <laughs> and I was just there like, wow, okay, I'm um, either I've done something right or done something very very wrong indeed because. I know I wanted it overpowered, but the fact is, making it this overpowered is just going to make people feel like they've completed the game once they get it. <laughs> but it's just so fun when you have it. Um, and I did have a jump boost enchantment as well, which I was there like, yeah, it's awesome. Only to then find out that for some reason the tutorial that I followed only worked... Um, when I followed the second part of the tutorial, it only worked on... Um, like, uh, it only worked on normal art, uh, on custom armor that you made once you put it in, but it didn't work properly on the, um, on your other armor, which I was kind of there, like, okay, um, that, well, that's weird. Oh god, you are ugly, no, go away. Hmm, I need to find, where's, where's a stump here? Yeah. There we go. Yeah, but I was just like, this is so cool just when you do something like that. Uh, right, let's move the crafting table here. This is going to be a small house I've planned out. That is fine. Right, um, yeah, but that's literally what happened. Uh, making mods are so much fun though. Once you get into them, you do so much stuff, you create crazy things, test them out constantly, and it's just really fun when you're just sat there with like a sword that does 14 damage without any add-ons. And all you did to make it was use a really rare ore and obsidian sticks. <clears throat> Yeah, and they, were, they were, like all the tools and stuff. Were, I wanted them to be massive and just look f really cool, but then the problem is, is I don't know how to make the textures big, but um, but not um, like 32 by 32. So then it's the same size. I really wish I knew how to like do that because I really wanted a massive sword and massive pick and everything like that just to make the like the metal look that make like everything look that much more cool but if i could figure out all of these things and everything it'll be really cool and awesome and everything and maybe if you guys um have ever got into doing mods or are good at making mods and made your own mods and stuff maybe for one you could either submit me a mod and i can use it in the series or two, you can help me out in trying to complete my mod and get chests working in it, put armor in it, put enchantments in it, all that sort of stuff. Because, oh, I know how to do armor and stuff. It's just the enchantments and the chests that don't seem to work. And I'm not sure if it's because the tutorial is 1.7.10 or something, but he did have an a thing at a later date to do with enchantments, so I might have to follow that at some point. So I'm probably going to try and, like, after this video, I'm going to go ahead and finish, like, the entire, like, I'm not finish the entire thing, but I'm going to create, like, pretty much all the things I need, go ahead, complete Mr. Crayfish's tutorials, then go ahead and complete, um, tutorials that I need, I want to do, to do with, um, tech geek and maybe if uh, 
what's his name? Um, Mr. It's like Mr. Munchy or something like that has got some tutorials that I could possibly follow that would be good. I will, but um, I think Tech Geek has done enough tutorials on pretty much all the st rest of the stuff that you need to cover for it. Because the problem is, no one seems to do tutorials on like Meg, um, like what are they called? Um, it's like um, multi-block structures and stuff. And like Tech Geek, like 1019, he didn't actually know what um, he didn't know what that uh, a multi-block structure was. And I was there like, so you're making a mod pack, a mod, yet you've never heard of a multi-block structure. Where did this idea of making a mod come from? Was it literally just you looking at the chisel mod or something like that? Because I'm pretty sure all most mods, apart from the chisel mod, and maybe a few others, I don't know, you could probably name a few others, but I'm pretty sure most of them include multi-block structures, and that's something I didn't quite understand, I got really confused by, on how he didn't know what that was. But, yeah, it's really, it's really confusing. I should probably set up a farm at some point. I think that would be a good idea, but I need a house, because otherwise I'm going to die. But, um, yeah, I've spawned in a savannah by him, and you're probably just here like, oh, he's cutting trees down, he's talking to us, he's boring the hell out of us. Just talking about a mod he wants to make for a series, and trying to get us into it. <clears throat> My voice is going, oh, God. Uh, oh, I can't wait as well, because, um... When, when I get my computer, everything will be so much better, I'll be able to have mod packs and stuff on videos and everything, and I'll be just so happy. Because that computer is going to improve so much about everything, especially when I start getting more and more bits for it. Because I, after I've gotten it, I'm going to get stuff like a webcam, a mic... Because at the moment, I just use the mic plugged in it, that's automatically in my laptop. And its audio quality is alright. The only problem I have to say with it is the fact that it, the fan is pretty much right underneath it, and that's most of the time what you can hear. It's annoying, I know. I hate the fact that it, it's kind of like its audio quality is kind of low. And you may be like, why not just invest in a mic now? The problem is, is if I invest in a mic, I've got nowhere to plug it into. Now I could get a USB mic, but I can't. And I already have a mic that I'm planning on using once I get my computer, which is um, like this kind of um, desktop mic thing that my granddad let me um, have. And I don't know how good the audio quality on it is, but I tried using an audio jack to um, make it so I could have uh, and set the setting for what I had as he a headset so then I could use the mic and the headphones at the same time, but then it just didn't, none of them worked. I have a feeling my sound is low. No. Oh, I know why it is. That's what it is. That's why I wasn't hearing sounds. I was so confused. Oh god, what the hell was that random lag spike? Does sound lag your game? Okay. Um, yeah, but it's so slight for ages. But, um, oh my god, sound does lag your game. Yeah, but, um, pretty much, like, that mic, if it's actually, like, pretty good, it'll probably, that, it'll, I'll probably, like, buy the mic last. So, uh, buy a new mic last, because as long as that mic is good, it'll be fine. Oh god. Apparently, sound does lag your game. I want to know if you guys think having no sound is better, or having sound is better, because I think I should probably add some music in the back of this, kind of like what Wales Knight and a few other Minecraft YouTubers do, not Skyder's Minecraft because he doesn't do that. Um, I'm not going to go ahead and add the royalty free ukulele, because as much as many people use that, it's just really annoying. And I can kind of, I like watching Paracynical a lot as well. And uh, as much as his videos are clickbait cancer, um, as he admits himself, they're still pretty funny. Uh, I, like, I, I literally I, I see a video pop up of his and I'm just there like, mm, I must go watch it. And that's pretty much like what I do. I, I literally like, Minecraft's really fun to do once you get into the spirit of survival. Like I originally like really hated survival. I don't know why I did, but like, 
I, for some reason I did, and I, I have a feeling it might have been the traumatizing experience of the Enderman who stole a part of my dirt bridge from my new building. Because, like, if I could, if you guys want me to, I will do, like, a, recreate the bloody, like, dumb, like, stupid thing I built in my, as my, my first ever house that I built. Because if you guys want to see what that terrible thing looked like, you are pretty much going to laugh and say, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> like, considering I started playing this uh, when I was in year 7, which I believe is 4 years ago, I finished school now. I finished school and next month, no, not next month, the month after the next month, I will be going to college on the 31st of August. Now, I'm not telling you what college, because knowing what will then happen is uh, people will, will be coming, will figure out where I live and they will be there to kind of like, Ugh. like, all I can tell you is that I live in, in around Bristol. Not exactly going to tell you the precise place because I don't know how big the place is that I live because I've never been that far in it. But I, I, I do go, I, I do go to like the, sh the place next to it that has my school in, which is quite a while away. It takes like 45 minutes to get to my school. <laughs> uh, but it's just one of those things. If you want a good school, instead of going to the cheap rubbish school that's right next to your house, then you should probably go for the good one that's further away, and also I mean you get exercise, unlike what would normally happen if I didn't do that. Because if I didn't go to the place that was far away, I'd probably end up being either really lazy, or being a fat lump sat in a chair. Now my college, it's close, not too close, it still takes a couple of minutes to get there. I think it was like 50 cent minutes or so, but it's literally like, it doesn't seem that far away, like, but it is, which is kind of surprising. Like my school seems like it's further away than the college, yet it's not, it's shorter because it takes 45 minutes. It doesn't exactly take 45 minutes because I can sometimes get, I've, I've gone home with like 12 minutes before. And you'll probably be there like, what? Were you running or something? No, I was just speed walking. Yes, that, that's how amazing I am. Right, uh, let's get back to our thing. I think we should start building a house now before this entire episode gets into talking and everything. Oh god, I'm dying of hunger. Never mind, I've got one health left. I'm not killing any- actually no, I should probably kill some sheep. But, also, a plan I, I've had with my, um... Extreme Hardcore Survival Series, I fa I've got a plan that I think would be really awesome. So, I'm, I don't know if you guys know, but um, my the main concept of my Extreme Hardcore Survival Series is that it's supposed to be extreme, hardcore, and it's also supposed to be survival. Now, um, I've been kind of taking it slightly chill with that series and created armor myself. I'm planning on doing something special and taking advice from Mumbo Jumbo's video on how to make your survival harder and what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and only wear armor that gets dropped from mobs. So no more diamond armor for me, it's probably going to end up being like iron and all that sort of stuff. Even though you can find the occasional... where are you? The occasional um, thingy mob, uh, mob with like, oh my, my first achievement, my uh, uh, an achievement I've got in this. How many achievements do I have? That is the wrong tab. Well done, me. On the rail. Oh, the diamonds, acquire diamonds. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. Well, I am gonna get that because oh, e oh. It's so rare to find, it's gonna take ages, I need to find a dungeon that has it in. Uh, cow tipper, oh yeah, I haven't killed any cows, yeah. They should probably change that to cow and horse tipper, because you kill cows and horses to get leather. 
Oh, I just realised I'm next to um, a desert biome as well, so I'll get to see the new husk as well, possibly. Oh, that's really cool. If I can see the husk at some point in this series, it'll be so awesome. Because the husk just looks like a beast. Wait, how high is that? Now, four. Okay, that's perfect. We want to go four high. Alright, I'm kind of going to go with a Wells Knight build here. If you haven't seen Wells Knight's builds, um, that's not his channel, but it's just like his build style. It's actually it's good looking, but it's also simple at the same time. And that's the cool thing about his build style. Like, he makes things look so good, yet they're always simple at the same time, compared to, like, Iskal and, um, me and Rendog and many other people who play Minecraft, who, at uh, Tango Tech as well, he's a good builder. But many people who play Minecraft, they always have, like, the complicated build styles of tons and tons of detail in it and I'm just there like wow I wish I was that good <laughs> but I'm not <laughs> I'm generally like a mixture between Wells Knight's build style and Iskal 85's build style because I would say Rendog but Rendog is like that slight bit less detail than oh god Skelly Bomb no Oh, how am I dodging these arrows? But pretty much like Rendog's like just below Iskal with his build style technique and stuff. Um, because it's not too much detail, but it does still have the detail in it. Um, and with Wells Knight, you don't notice the detail as much. Oh no, no! <laughs> I made a sword and I didn't even use it. Great. And now I've probably lost where I was. Uh, where was it? I'm trying to remember. It's not down there. But it's somewhere around these mountains. Ow. But pretty much like... I want to go with a build style between um, Iskal 85s and Wells Knights. So obviously it's still my own build style, it's not completely a carbon copy of them both. Oh god, no, go away, go away, leave me alone, I need to get my stuff. You are not what I need in my sandwiches today. I don't know why I said that, but okay. Uh, I think my stuff might be over that hill. If it's not, I'm probably going to cry, because I'm going to end up walking around for more than five minutes.